We are often asked, what's the best way to switch between vegetative and generative steering using Copilot? Switching is as easy as simply updating your target set points in the wizard and waiting 24 hours for your updated suggestions to take effect. In this video, we'll go over our targets tab in the Copilot wizard in detail and walk through some examples of adjusting our steering either more vegetatively or more generatively. To begin, we're going to select an active Copilot program on our irrigation dashboard and enter the Copilot wizard by clicking the edit icon. Once inside the wizard, we're going to navigate to the targets tab. Target set points are broken up into irrigation phases to help make things easier to manage, just like on the schedule tab. Additionally, when selecting a target value, a customized tooltip appears on the right hand side explaining exactly what each field does, along with highlighting of the corresponding portion of the interactive graph above. Let's go through the target fields together. We'll start with the additional dryback field in phase 0. This is where we will enter the percentage dryback we would like our plants to achieve, from the time the lights turn on to the time of our first P1 irrigation event of the day. Under the Phase 1 section, we can specify our target ramp-up shot size, which is the targeted percentage rise in water content for each ramp-up shot, along with our ramp-up shot size dryback, which is the targeted percentage decrease in water content in between our ramp-up shots. And finally, our targeted field capacity percentage, which is the point of maximum substrate saturation before runoff occurs. Under Phase 2, we can specify what we want our targeted maintenance dryback percentage to be, which basically means what percentage decrease in water content do we want to see occur in between our P2 maintenance shots. Because the purpose of the maintenance phase is to maintain a set water content percentage, the maintenance dryback percentage we enter here will also equate to our maintenance shot size. Phase 3 allows us to enter what we want our overnight dryback percentage to be. This is the total decrease in moisture content from the last irrigation event of our P2 phase up until the start of our next lights on period. We have also added a field to enter our target substrate EC value, which will help Copilot suggestion logic determine when to flush and when to stack EC. We'll cover how this functions in more detail in another video. So now that we've gone over all the different target data fields, let's cover how to change them in order to optimally drive our steering. As a general default, when you select either generative or vegetative on the information tab, the values on the target page will pre-populate with default targets that we have found to be optimal. However, there is no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to crop steering. Due to different genetics and different environments, what works for some may not work for others. Therefore, it's important to pay attention to your specific plants and adjust targets accordingly. If you don't wish to make these changes manually throughout the growth cycle, you'll be able to use our Blueprint functionality to pre-program these set point changes ahead of time so they'll automatically update for you. With that said, let's take a look at how simple it is to make these adjustments using the Copilot Irrigation Wizard. In this example, I am wrapping up my final week of veg and getting ready to flip the flower. You can tell I am steering vegetatively based on the target values I have entered, such as having a low additional dryback percentage, low overnight dryback percentage, and a low substrate EC. Since I want to steer more generatively during early flower, I'm going to increase my additional dryback percentage along with my overnight dryback percentage to simulate drought stress. In addition, I'm going to increase my target substrate EC so Copilot knows to start making the necessary changes to my timers to allow for EC stacking. Again, this is just an example of how simple it is to adjust your target values and it's not intended to be used as a guide on how to crop steer. For more detailed information on the how-tos of crop steering, be sure to check out our free crop steering ebook as well as Athena's new irrigation handbook as it contains some really helpful information. Once we're satisfied with the updated target values we have entered, all that's left to do is press save and let Copilot do the rest.